Hi guys, my name is Megan Hine. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on all things eco-beauty, so welcome. If you hear some snoring in this video, it's because I've got a little pup on my lap. That's little Quinn pup. So today's video is part of my new Makeup 101 series where I am going to teach you everything I know about makeup. I did a video the other day on foundation and today I'm going to be chatting about concealer. So if you are interested in learning more about concealer, some tips and tricks, keep on watching. To start off, I want to go through the two distinct areas of your face that usually need concealing. The first would be the under eye. So you can have dark circles or bags under your eyes that need some concealing, correcting, or brightening up. And then you can have discoloration on your face, whether that's just some light redness around the nose, hyperpigmentation from old acne marks, or active blemishes that need hiding. So when it comes to concealer, I always like to have at least three shades on hand for mixing and matching. My forehead is a distinctly different color than my under eye. So if I were to put a concealer that matches my forehead on my under eye, it would be way too dark and vice versa. You want your concealer to be completely undetectable on your face. So that might mean blending a few different shades and applying with different techniques. So the four major things to consider when choosing a concealer are the opacity, the blendability, the lasting power, and the undertone. So let's start off with opacity. That just means essentially how opaque the concealer is. Another word for that would be the pigmentation. I always look for a very highly pigmented concealer. I want to be able to use as little as possible to get maximum coverage. There are plenty of concealers on the market, especially targeted for the under eye, that are very, very sheer. And rather than apply one of those products heavily under my under eye, I rather use a really opaque, highly pigmented concealer, a tiny little bit, and blend it out. And that brings us to the blendability. I've found that highly, highly pigmented concealers tend to be a little thicker and more difficult to blend, whereas your very sheer concealers are super easy to blend. So it's all about finding that perfect balance between blendability and pigmentation. I find cream concealers to be the best as far as blendability and pigmentation. Liquid concealers are another great option. Uh, I do prefer the texture of a cream concealer though. And loose powder concealers are great if you just need sheer coverage. Uh, you can build them up, but with a powder, the more you build, the cakier it's going to look. And of course, you want your concealer to be long lasting. Concealing is definitely the most time consuming step in my makeup routine. So the last thing I want is to spend a significant amount of time concealing all of my hyperpigmentation, dark circles, blemishes, everything that I have going on for it to just fade or wipe off within an hour or two. As far as shade and undertone, I always like to have a peach tone concealer, a fairly neutral concealer, and a yellow toned concealer. So the peach tone concealer is great for correcting or concealing bluish purpley bags under your eyes or hyperpigmentation. My hyperpigmentation from post acne marks is usually a deep, almost bruise-like color. So, so a peach concealer will counteract those deep dark tones. A yellow tone concealer is great for brightening the under eye and for hiding red inflamed blemishes. I never use those green concealers. I find them a bit gimmicky and to be honest it's very difficult to blend them out so you don't see any green. So for me a yellow tone concealer works much better. And a neutral concealer is great for hiding minor imperfections that you just want to blend seamlessly into your makeup look. Okay, so now on to some tips and application tricks. So the method that I use for concealing is based on Lisa Eldred's method for pinpoint concealing. She is a professional makeup artist, one of the best in the business. So if you haven't checked out her videos, she's got a great YouTube channel and website. So I highly recommend that. I'll leave a link for her channel below. So how I've adapted her method 
is I will apply a medium coverage foundation all over my face to even out my skin tone. Then from there, I go directly into blush, contour, highlight, whatever I'm doing for that day. Once I've got the rest of my face makeup done, I will take a super, super tiny concealer brush. This is the one I'm using at the moment. I actually believe it's an eyeliner brush, so it's so, so tiny. Um, and I will take my concealer and just pinpoint conceal any blemishes, hyperpigmentation that are still peeking through. So I'll take the concealer, dab it on only where I need it. I don't want it on any clear areas because that's more makeup than you need. Less is more in my opinion. And then I'll usually take my ring finger and gently feather out the edges. The key here is getting a concealer shade that is completely undetectable over your foundation. So once you feather out those edges, it's completely seamless. You can't even tell you had a blemish or a dark mark to begin with. Once I've got my whole face concealed, I will take a big fluffy brush with some setting powder, um, either an oil control powder or a yellow base powder, load it up on my brush, tap off the excess, and then I'll just push it into my skin. I'm not brushing because that's going to wipe away any concealing that I've just done, but you're just pushing it in to set that concealer. So that's how I do my face concealing. As far as under eye, I always like to use a peach tone concealer to hide my dark circles. And then I'll usually go over it with a yellow toned, slightly lighter shade of concealer just to brighten up my under eye area. And I'll usually set my under eye with a yellow toned powder. So this is one type of concealer brush to use. This is my absolute favorite. These two are more traditional concealing brushes. They are slightly domed and come to a little point on the top and are fairly flat. Um, I used to use these kind of brushes a lot, but after using the pinpoint technique, I found that these apply too much product in too broad of an area. Here is another great um, concealer brush. This one is not as small as the pinpoint one that I like, but I used to use this one a lot as well. Okay, and now on to my concealer recommendations. So I've tried a few concealers in the natural, non-toxic world. Um, I found that most of them are not highly pigmented, unfortunately. While the shades might be great, they just don't provide the coverage I need to hide dark hyperpigmentation. My go-to is the Silk Naturals HD Concealers. They have a range of, I believe, five HD shades, and then they also have a bunch of peach-toned concealers. So the Silk Naturals HD Concealers come in a slimline plastic tube. It is three grams for $5.50. So most concealers on the market average around $15 to $20. So I can get three or four Silk Naturals concealers for the price of one other brand's concealer. So the Silk Naturals concealers are a medium to full coverage. They have a very simple ingredient list. Check out their website if you wanna look into it. Completely all natural, pretty decent shade range, and they're super creamy. They do need to be set with a powder or they will fade throughout the day but I found that a powder just locks it in place. So while the tubes that they come in are great for on the go, I love mixing and blending my concealer to find the perfect shade for every imperfection on my face. So I'm just going to show you what I've gone ahead and done with my concealers. Okay, so these six are my Silk Naturals concealers and I've depotted them and put them into little pans and pop them right into a Z palette. So this bottom is magnetic so I can take them out and pop them right back in as I need. When I travel I will usually take a smaller Z palette and 
just take my most frequently used shades and put them into there. These are the three peach ones that I have, and then these are the three regular HD concealers. I've got swatches of these on my website, so I will link that down below if you wanna see swatches. Uh, in case you're curious, these are my Silk Naturals foundation shades over here. And that is a Silk Naturals brightening powder concealer that I have pressed into a pan. If you're interested in learning how I depotted my cream concealers in the cream foundation, just leave a comment below. I'm happy to make a tutorial on how I did that. It's fairly easy, so just let me know. I hope you guys found this video informative and helpful. If you have any questions related to concealer, or again, if you want to see a tutorial on how I depotted my cream products, just leave me a comment below. I would love it if you liked the video or subscribed to my channel. And I'd love to get any feedback from you guys on my videos or future videos that I should make for you. So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, bye guys.